Hello everybody, it's your certified meme lord, Mr. Steve Gamer, and I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me reach 15,000 subscribers. This is an absolutely huge milestone, and to celebrate that, I decided to do something a bit special. You may have caught the stream earlier this week, if so you already know what I did. I decided to open 100 War Thunder loot boxes, because why not? I mean... There's no reason not to, I guess. I don't know. It was a waste of money either way. It was $320 down the drain. But I didn't just do it for that. I did it for science. Because I wanted to know what are the percentages to get each individual type of thing out of the box. Like the ultra rares, rares, commons, uncommons. But I decided to open up 100 loot boxes. We'll get to the percentages at the end, but if you want the experience of opening loot crates without actually having to open a bunch of loot crates and get just complete garbage like what I got most of for the War Thunder ones, you can do that with Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service and they're also the sponsor of this video, so thanks a lot for that Loot Crate. And if you somehow haven't heard of them before, they send you a box full of different themes, whether it be a gaming-related anime, standard loot crate, sports. I chose the gaming one personally because, you know, gotta be epic gamer. So if you guys want to be an absolute epic gamer, or maybe you're interested in one of the other boxes, check out the link in the description below, and use this code MrSteveGamer to get 10% off your purchase to be super epic but anyways let's get into the opening of 100 loot boxes in war thunder probably the biggest waste of money i have ever done so uh without further ado here's the montage if you would like to see the full stream of me opening them as well as an unboxing of my loot crate Check the link in the top right of your screen right now in that little card that should be popping up any second now, and uh, you can watch it there. If not, stay tuned. We'll get into the percentages after this. I've, I've made a mistake, boys. Forgive me. Oh, thank you. That's what I paid the, all that money for. A decal. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey, yes, best tank in the game, oh baby, best tank in the game right there, we're literally, that's all that we wanted, that's everything, can we just get the leopard 2A foreskin, alright, I'll take it, 2A foreskin, that would be literally incredible. Oh, 84 skin? Or is he gonna keep going? Ah, 84 skin. Me 84 skin! Just so you guys can tell that I actually did put effort into this, I had to buy each of these boxes individually because there's no slider on PlayStation. So I had to buy every single one of these boxes by hand and every single key. <laughs> Thank you. This is what I've been waiting for. The decal. The Project X decal. Thank you. I I was hoping all day long when I was planning this. I was like, th that's what I want. Mouse. Yes, 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 yes. No, not the Panzer III. Go back. No. I, wa I wanted the mouse. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. Oh. A premium you can't even buy anymore. Thank you, Gaijin. Very okay, cool. boys. We're on the last one. This is it. This is it. This is our last chance. The final countdown. Cone. If you're listening, Cone. Be with us. <laughs>
right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little montage showing that loot crates suck. <laughs> There's no good way to say it. Loot crates just kind of suck. But I mean, I did get the RBT-5 and the M8A1, so I can't complain too much. But what you really came here for, I'm sure, is the percentages, because you want to know what percentage do I have of getting that KV-220 or whatever you're looking for that's ultra rare. So we'll start off with the commons and obviously these percentages could change because as big of a sample size this is being 100 boxes that's an enormous sample size. I don't know if anybody else at least not recorded has done that and I'm sure you could find numbers out there if you looked but I wanted to do this myself so that I know that these numbers aren't tainted by anything. So starting off with the commons, you have a 59% chance, which I would round to a two-thirds, so about 60% of the time you're going to be getting a common, which makes sense seeing as how they're, you know, common. And then after the common, you would have 33% chance of getting an uncommon, or the green, and then 5% of getting a rare, or the blue, and then you have a very slim 3% chance to get the ultra rare. Now I was thinking about it and this percentage, I do think these percentages are pretty dang accurate, but I would probably put the ultra rare at about a 2.5, maybe 2 to 3% range because I have a feeling the others could go up or down a percent or so. I, I would say that the room for error is about a percent in this, but obviously Gaijin's the only one that really knows these percentages and they will most likely never give them out unless they have to. So that's the percentages that I came up with. Let me know in the comments if you know of anything that's that might make these percentages not be true. If that's the case, please let me know. But I feel very confident in saying that that is accurate to what percent chances you have. So do with that as you will. I will neither before nor against the loot boxes in War Thunder. Personally, I don't really plan to buy any more of them anytime soon. I might do another opening again for another sub goal, just because it is entertaining and a lot of you did tune in to see, so obviously you guys liked it. But personally, I am not going to be spending my money on them because I can't get my money back through the store because I have a PlayStation account, if you're not aware, and PlayStation accounts don't have access to the marketplace. So it doesn't make sense for me. But if you want to buy them, that's your money to spend. So do with it as you will and use the percentages to base your decision off of. So thanks again to Loot Crate for sponsoring this video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one, I suppose.